our Earth was born of fire. Two billion years, volcanoes spewed forth the magma which the waking Earth would use to build itself into being. Volcanoes also vented the gases which would form the Earth's atmosphere and the oceans where life itself was born. Then in the last seconds of geologic time, a life form emerged that would seek to understand creation itself. Today, more than 400 active volcanoes shape life on the Pacific Rim. Geologists call it the Ring of Fire. From Navidad in Chile, and the volcanoes of the Andes. To the ancient ash-covered empires of Mesoamerica. Past San Francisco on the San Andreas Fault. Mount St. Helens and the Cascades of America's Northwest. To the great volcanic island arcs of the Aleutians, Siberia, and Japan. With sacred Mount Fuji and explosive Mount Sakurajima. To Indonesia, home of Krakatoa. Bromo and Gunung Agung. Here, where half a billion people dwell, is a window on the awesome geological forces that shape our planet. At the very center of the Ring of Fire, on the island of Hawaii, exists a lake of molten lava. In this fiery lake can be seen a likeness of the Earth's crust and the geologic forces that shape it. The Earth's thin crust is formed of great tectonic plates which are in constant motion, spreading, colliding, grinding past one another and plunging back into the molten interior. Around the ring of fire, collisions of the Earth's tectonic plates produce earthquakes and the most violent natural phenomenon on Earth.
This is Navidad volcano in southern Chile, which burst from the earth on Christmas Day, 1988, and grew to a height of 1,000 feet in a month. Few people died in this sparsely populated region. Yet, the immense geological forces on the Ring of Fire can just as easily strike at the heart of civilization. Seven thousand miles north on the Ring of Fire, two tectonic plates meet at a great fault called the San Andreas, which lies like a time bomb beneath the city of San Francisco. In 1906, a massive earthquake destroyed this city, and in the years that followed, San Francisco waited as the stresses again built up along the fault. Until one October day in 1989, the third game of the World Series was about to begin between the two Bay Area teams, the San Francisco Giants and the Oakland A's. The earthquake lasted less than 15 seconds, but 62 people were dead and nearly 4,000 injured. 42 died in the collapse of the Nimitz Freeway. More than 20,000 homes and buildings were damaged or destroyed during the quake. Yet it struck with 1 30th of the energy of the great quake of 1906. Engineers learned a great deal from what structures survived the quake and what failed. A 50-foot section of the Bay Bridge collapsed, where the forces generated by the earthquake sheared the bolts on one side of the span. The bridge was repaired and reopened in a month. Built on landfill, dwellings in the marina district broke apart. The unstable ground beneath them actually magnifying the effects of the quake. Buildings engineered to withstand the greatest earthquakes stood strong. 
so did the people. So everybody helped each other. It was like one big family out there. It knocked us down, but it sure didn't knock us out. There were disasters everywhere. Everyone lives under some kind of threat, you know. If it's not an earthquake, it's a tornado, a hurricane, flood, you name it. It's a beautiful city, regardless. No, I love it here. I'm never going to leave. Ten days after this quake, we went back to baseball. Now that's, that's the spirit of San Francisco. Though the flags flew at half-mast, the fans reunited at Candlestick Park to resume a World Series. And a game turned into a celebration of renewal. Six hundred miles north of San Francisco is the site of the greatest volcanic eruption in modern American history, Mount St. Helens. Near where he stood that Sunday morning in 1980, photographer Gary Rosenquist recalls the moment. At dawn, I noticed through some trees steam at the very top of the mountain. I got my camera and I just started taking pictures and the whole side of the mountain was sliding away. I was so excited at that time, I couldn't concentrate. It's just, it was just amazing. I'd never seen anything like that before. Hundred and forty square miles of woodland were devastated in the eruption. Fifty-seven people and millions of animals were killed. <laughs> 